Got those screwed in. I'll still probably rivet it eventually. It's nice having solar panels riveted in because they're harder to steal. And then uh, put bolts through all these, you know, after getting it all lined up level, which was a fun filled half an hour of going over there, looking straight down the thing, coming over here, adjusting a little bit, going back over there and repeat. Um, to get the threads for these screws, I happened to have some matching uh, self-drilling screws that were not stainless, so I just screwed those in and pulled them out and then put in these stainless screws here. So now I've got the four poles. This is just a temporary, and this is just a temporary, so let me think. At the back here, I think one pole will be fine because it's not a very long distance from where there's two, you know, keeping it from tipping that way. Up at the front here though, it's a little further, so I'm thinking I want to put a pull on this side and on that side. Basically the same as this. I'm out of that stainless stuff. So let me see what else is around here. I think I'll use one of these for the rear holder, because I never have uses for bent pipes, but this can totally be bent and it's okay. All right, the front two, let's see. Okay, I think I got it. This is the length I need here. These are both too short. They also don't match. However, this fits inside that. So if I cut this in half, cut that in half, put these inside those, then they'll be telescoping, telescoping, well, telescoping. Then I can bolt this to the bottom, this to the top, and then adjust and then put a screw through and lock them in the right height. So I, I don't want to make it just like one solid piece because if it's not perfect, there's no way to adjust it. Don't move till I get a hole in there and a screw. I have to remember to cut the ends of those off. Looking good. 
The rear one of these is this long up to here. I made a little mark. This one can be a fixed height because it's going in a spot that's kind of like that. So I can just move it into the skinnier or the fatter part and just find the place where it fits. This pipe was a little brittle for bending the ends. So uh, I wrapped a piece of sheet around there that is very flexible and made the top. And then the bottom is just a piece that I uh, cut in there and then folded up inside and bolted through. Sweet. Totally all attached. This one's not stuck down yet, but now I need to figure out how to arrange these connectors so they don't interfere with the other solar panels. Uh, if, if I stick these plugs into there, they overhang a little bit. If they overhang to this end, there's not much space that's not solar panel, so it's going to be it's going to be out shading this part. So I'm hoping I can get my plugs in facing each other because there's no solar panel part here, so the wires can come around here and not block anything, right? Well, if I put these crooked a little bit, this one that way and this one this way, then I can have them, you know, kind of miss each other. This one's hanging over the edge a little bit. I should have tested this before I stuck this one down, because this one could go that way a little more. Yeah, whatever. Well, it's stuck down now. Plugs fit just overhanging a tiny bit over here. Edwin? No, Odwin and Edwin. Oh. They're both gold. Oh. And they're all, and they're currently arguing because, do you want to know why? Huh. I'm overhanging a little bit on the end. Well, That's okay though. What's that? Because, do you want to know why they're arguing? Yeah. Because Odwin wants to go to the park, but Edwin wants to go to the beach. Huh. Why don't they just go to a beach with a park? Oh, that is way better than the picture I drew. Oh, and I gotta thank these guys for sending me these solar panels. Alright, now wiring. I'm thinking I might put the charge controller box up under this solar panel in the middle. It'll be protected from pretty much everything under there. Maybe hide it with a like a little storage box or something. That way I'll only have to have two wires coming down, probably down through here into the inside. I can put all the other stuff up in the top. All right, that means I need to connect all this stuff dun 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 anyway i have to connect all this stuff up in the top these are just a bunch of y connectors that'll take four parallel things down to one this is a spaceship no it's not a spaceship it is a pretty cool spaceship though but this is the same thing with four blocking diodes on them this is a pretty big piece of stuff and they also sent me a bunch of connectors, this wire, wire connectors. Yesterday I started making wires for these. And I got two here and I made them short. Thinking I can put one of the Y connectors here so I only have two wires going that way instead of four. Just want to look at it before I keep going. I think that's good. Good idea. All right. You know, electricianing is one of those often thankless jobs. 
where people see a bunch of wires and they think, oh, that can't take long to put in. So many connections. And then there's testing and testing and testing to make sure everything works because you can't see if something doesn't work. It's all invisible. And then it's good to get confirmation tests with an actual thing. Right. All right, I think I'm putting four of these in here. That means I need to drill some holes in this end and put some bolts so I can attach wires to the other end. It's got its connectors. I just need to find some screws that fit there. All right, I got bolts in that little piece there. Hopefully that's good. I think I just skipped some steps. Hold on, hold on. Right, okay, I did that part. Ah, didn't get this. Gotta make sure the surface is clean for good contact. 